you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Alona, and watching some Castlevania. Castlevania Nocturne has just dropped. I'm so excited. All right, I know I didn't react to the trailer. I had a lot of stuff that was going on. I believe at that time, the One Piece Live had came out, so I was like so busy with that. But yeah, we're gonna be watching Castlevania Nocturne. We watched the first teaser trailer that popped out, which was really, really good. Um, you guys helped me to understand that this is, what, three to 400 years or probably more up into the future. So Trevor and Saipa is gone, so no, no more of them. Uh, but I really wish we did see some type of glimpse of, of them. Hopefully a flashback or something that'd be nice. Because, <laughs> you know, I was really attached. Well, you guys on YouTube probably don't know. But I am really attached to Trevor and Saipa, okay? That last season was <laughs> heavy in my emotions, you know? But anyways, we're going to be watching this. If, I believe this is going to be Trevor's and Saifa's like um, family that had branched off. You know, they probably had kids. They had, and their their kids' kids had kids for all those hundreds of years. So I believe we had three characters that we saw: the young guy. I can't remember his name, but he saw his mother die. A young girl, and then a melanated child. You know what I'm saying? So I believe we're going to have. Ow! Shoot! Sorry. <laughs> Three characters that are probably going to be very, very important, um, and the main villain. I believe he's pissed off because was it Richter? I, I, I don't want to say his name wrong. He killed his mother because of her what killing his lover. I believe that's what that's the gist of what I got so far. It could be totally different. They could try to play me. I'm just going to zip it, and on that note, let's just go ahead and jump right on in. Let's go. <laughs> Mm, gore language nudity. Ooh, okay. Water animation come through. Boston, Massachusetts, 1783. I thought I was supposed to fight evil. I thought that was the whole point. Is Auntie Terra a vampire hunter? No. So will I be safer with her? No. Auntie Terra, that's where he's going? I'm so sorry, my darling. I have no choice. Man, this actor's voice is ow! All right, so, okay. I know I'm pausing so super early, but from what I'm getting so far, we have Richter here being sent away by his mother. It's, it's dark, it's at night, all right? She's trying to keep him safe. I believe because of this vampire here, she's done something to cross someone. And, and Richter is not too happy with having to be sent away with a non-vampire hunter. He wants to fight evil with his mom, but his mom wants to protect him. Okay, that's what I'm getting so far. Julia Belmont. Her name is Julia. Finally. His eyes are green? You've made a big mistake. My mom was gonna slice you in two. Oh, you need a, oh, he's hyping his mama up. Oh, she has the, um, oh, she has the, 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 the whip. She's sweating. He's hiding. He didn't go to the ship. Bro, what? Is he using magic? He's a vampire that uses magic. Uh, I'm already getting sad because the fact that he has so much faith in his mother. And for me to already know that she's gonna die, it's gonna hurt my feelings. I love how she's using um, the speaker's powers as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this black aura? Shut the heavens! What the heck? He's trying to help his mama. Ew! Richter, you're in the way! You're a liability! She can't fight how she wants to fight now because you're here! Ah, her arm! She won't be able to do! Oh 
my gosh. Her ice, her ice, her ice. Your little power is not gonna do anything, son. I hate this already. I don't like it. I'm not gonna cry. It's too early in the morning. <sighs> oh, her body. Her eyes. Wow. Her blood did like a perfect circle. I think the sorry that she said to him like really hurt my feelings. Like she couldn't protect him and she's so sorry. Good boy, Belmont. He could have easily killed him. Burning, unendurable need for retribution. What is he? You see, your mama took someone from me I loved just as much as you loved her. So, if she ever died, I could kill you too. And I will. One day, but not tonight. I wonder why he let him live. Did he want him to grow older? Maybe he has a thing like without, with, like, not killing children? I don't know. Maybe he has some type of honor? I don't know. I feel so bad. Is he gonna go to the ship like his mama told him to in the beginning? I'm gonna get some tissue. Nine years later. It's the natural order for them to get rich by milking us dry. Oh, vampires. Who are these people? And these Sooner cloaks. or later they'll send round their bully boys. Till the end of time. What is this symbol? What is but do you know what happened to him? He's been arrested. No more kings, no more aristocrats. So I believe this young girl, maybe, and him are cousins. Because they said he's supposed to go visit his, um, well, he's, he went to his aunts, right? <laughs> Woo! Took his head clean off. Her eyes are pretty. Wow. This Cypher wasn't able to do that. He's grown up to be a good fighter so far from what I see. Okay, these little two birds doing what they need to do. You know what? She ain't no punk either. She stood her ground. Nice dodge. Ooh. Bow down. All the moon is full. The vampire messiah. Vampire come. messiah. The devourer of light. Along with oh my gosh. Kill him. That makes absolutely no sense. There you go. Ain't got no eyeballs. The burst took his eyes. Well, that's what you get. Oh, what kind of weapon is that? It looks like what my little gun gonna do. Maria, if they're more scared of gossips than they are of vampires, maybe they're not, you know, revolutionary material. Mm. What did it mean by the vampire messiah? Who knows? What a ridiculous concept. Devourer of light, it said. That sounds bad. It does sound bad. Here? What's so special about here? Ham and beans. <laughs> local ham and beans is pretty sensational. Makes local blood nice and smoky. What? Order a wanker. <laughs> a wanker. Maybe we should discuss this with the abbot. I know he's no friend to the he's revolution. The, he's but the he not be much of a friend to vampires either. Strength, after all, in numbers. You're right. I am? Ooh. We propose a temporary alliance. They help us see what's happening, and then they help us fight. I have a reputation, and people accept it. 
because of the heroic and handsome oh gosh conjuring creatures from the other world they start building piles of very oh wood. which you talk like i don't know when to keep my mouth shut that is something interesting they don't consider speakers as to be witches we're not here to pray oh gosh we killed three vampires tonight out in the woods near the chateau and one of them said something about a vampire messiah side eye they say they have urgent business about vampires years i'd kill one every few months or so for which mashkul is forever grateful but this was three in one night yeah three in one night so something's up one of them warned me which was nice of it that a vampire Idiot. is on its way <laughs> devourer of life why are you laughing this is serious the marquis is a pillar of this community for centuries i can't believe he would welcome vampires into his home do you think these people are making this up before the revolution, he spent all his time at court and probably Some fish is going on. His wealth is thanks to the pain and suffering of every peasant within 40 miles. Hatred and envy and division. It will only lead to bloodshed. Man, he ain't no help. But I pray for you. Know how much pain is in your soul. How much sadness and loss. That's good of you. Really, we, we appreciate it, the praying. <laughs> all right. I'll see what I can find out. See what I can find I out? my spies. Don't do anything rash. I don't like how he's talking. But, of course. <laughs> That's if, why he look at her like that. To the undead, we can go together and burn them all to dust. Wow. What evil can be more subtle than is often supposed? What do you mean subtle than often supposed? And you were good as gold. Go ahead, girl. I don't think no one well, there's only so much pious bullshit I can stand. Maybe. She said pious bullshit. Go for a drink if you want. We promised your mother we'd come home. Cousins. If you're really enjoying this reaction and want to see the full uncut version, please join me over on Patreon. There you'll have access to all the shows you see here on YouTube and the Patreon exclusives. And don't forget before you leave, comment, like, and subscribe. Is that Jack? Hold on. Oh, he's about to die. I think that did they show this scene in the um preview? Boy, what you think that gun gonna do? You mm, did. In her arms. Is she dragging his body? Not here. Even the peasant. He, the Marquise himself, is a vampire. What is it about you peasants out here that makes everything, even your blood, so unremittingly dull? Dull? <sighs> oh my gosh. Now he's dead. Who are these people in these cloaks? And what does the cloak mean? Oh my gosh! There's a pile of bodies. But they're suspicious of the rest. Hold on. Those weren't the ones that were meeting in the in the woods, was it? Maybe not. I don't see all I remember is him to be honest. I'm sorry. It haunts him that day. It's gonna haunt him. What? People were really listening tonight. <laughs> well, I wasn't. Why do you kill vampires? Wow. If you're so uninterested. It's the most fun you can have with your clothes on. Wow. It's because they're evil, Richter. Vampires? Evil? Oh my god, are you sure? Oh, evil he's has to playing be She sounds like she has cypher spirit. I believe you're the kindest, most courageous people in the world. So I don't need to understand the things you believe in. I just need to stand by you. 
You're such a dick. <laughs> That's all she could say. He's smooth. Well, I know that's right. Whatever they are, I'm sure they can die. I'm seeing like new things just popping out. And what about the the library? What about Alcard? Is he gonna be in this at all? Oh no! Remind me of gargoyles. What the? I don't know what the hell you are. What the what? Are these monsters similar to the ones that um, Hector and Isaac created before, but stronger? He said, little birdie go night night. Oh, I feel like her mom's about to die. What is that, acid? What? Who killed him? Who are you? Who are they? And she's a young lady. That was sand? Plates? They were night creatures. Demons. Made from human corpses grafted onto souls from hell. Okay. Nobody's made any for centuries. Whoever you are. Thank you. Someone has to make them. Yeah. Oh, hear her birds. Oh, yeah. And that would take a forge master, a sorcerer, magician, necromancer. Of Is she not answered none of his questions. There must be a forge master around here. Can you answer my questions? My name is Annette. And I'm Edouard. Edouard. We're from the island of Saint Domingue. Where are y'all there? Across the ocean. We're looking for someone called Belmont. That would be the ungrateful wanker. Wanker. <laughs> I don't suppose you know anything about a vampire messiah. That's why we're here. We about to get all the tea. Give me all the tea, baby. Western France. How you say that? Is it Nance? Nance? Uh, he's a vampire messiah. Good of you to meet me, Belle Blanc. You can tell your messiah. Oh, he's not the messiah. I'm here. Who's the messiah? I just assumed it was going to be him since we saw him first. All right, you guys, this is going to be a fun watch. This is going to be a super duper de duper fun watch. We're going to, we're, this is going to be good. All right, so we had a little emotional beginning. Um, Richter's mother dying was very emotional for me because as a mom and having your son watch me, like, like if my child watched me die and I'm it would hurt my feelings. And then the fact that the little boy is there. And to be honest, I feel as though she probably would have had a better chance had he not been there. Not in saying that she was probably not going to die at the end of it. But I feel as when he jumped in, she went more on defensive instead of trying to be offensive. So I know for him, that's probably something that he has to deal with. You see him still struggling with that moment, which he should. That's traumatic as hell. And now we have all these vampires popping up, a vampire messiah. I really thought that it was going to be Orlac, but I guess not. There's somebody else. I'm thinking he's going to be the big bad, but he, apparently he might not just be that. Well, he's still bad, but he's not the big bad, if you know what I mean. And we're having all these cool characters. We're seeing glimpses of, or traces of Trevor and Richter. And then we're seeing Cypha's, uh, like, uh appearances kind of like in his cousin and his auntie this i like this so far so far they did a really good job we're seeing the night creatures so you know there's gonna be a forge master somewhere around here i hope alucard is going to be some somewhere near around or whatever and we also saw i believe that dracula and his wife was somewhere in 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 here so i don't know if dracula's wife is still alive but wouldn't dracula and alucard still be alive I don't know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode with me, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.